What's up guys? We are here at 1871 Marchita Place, the biggest, baddest, coolest piece of land in the Hollywood Hills. It's crazy. It's crazy. What's up guys, Jacob Green here, taking over Josh Altman's vlog for the day. Decided to do a little tour of the Bird Streets, let you know what's going on, and some of the big celebrities that have chosen to call the Bird Streets home. Make sure to like, subscribe, and stay on till the end for some exclusive Altman Brothers negotiation tactics. First of all, check out this view. It's an amazing view coming down. So this house on the right, right here, it's a little known fact, but it's actually owned by the Winklevoss twins from Facebook. And then if you look straight ahead, you see that modern rooftop up there? Up there, that was the late and great Avicii who lived there. Fun fact of the Bird Streets, we're on the famous Blue Jay Way. This house right here was rented by the Beatles where they wrote a song called Blue Jay Way. Kind of cool. Arguably the best view up here is this long private driveway. Before Dan Bilzerian lived in Bel Air, he lived there. So, if those walls could talk. Now we're going up into a subset of the Bird Streets called Doheny Estates. That, would, that was 46 million. Then you've got this one right here that was 38 million. And this one that just traded a couple weeks ago for 23.5 million. Further up in Doheny Estates, we'll look up at these, these two houses, which are probably the most, the two most expensive houses in all the Bird Streets. This one's probably, this is probably an $85 million house right here. He paid 21 million for the dirt and built 25,000 square feet. The one next door, 26 million for the dirt. It was a double lot. Fun fact is uh, all three of those lots used to be owned by Megan Ellison. And they were actually houses on those lots, but they decided it was worth more to tear down because they were so prime time. And I'm actually gonna wrap us around to one of our own listings. And so many times on the show, you kind of get to hear about like all these houses. I'm gonna show you what dirt looks like and why dirt is so is so expensive up here. Our listing is, starts on this side right here and goes all the way across. So I'm gonna show you what this looks like. Let's take a look. All right, here we are in Doheny Estates, part of the bird streets. Everyone's got a name of a bird. So here we're sitting on Marchita. I didn't know it was a bird either, but a Marchita is a, it is a bird. Here we're sitting on what $10 million worth of dirt looks like in the bird streets. What's so unique and so rare about this is that this is 1.4 acres, whereas everyone sits on about 15 to 16,000 square feet. So we're looking at 60,000 square feet, which is insane. This is one of three tennis courts in the bird streets. Obviously it's seen better days, but this will one day be a $50 million house because of the massive amount of land that it sits on. Everyone has a height restriction, so you can only go so high because you can't block other people's view. However, look at this. You've got a mountain behind you. So this is one of the rare lots in Doheny Estates in the Bird Streets where there is an LA city limit. You can go up as high as the city will allow you without any other restrictions. There were plans for 30,000 here before. Then we had some other plans that were done that actually elevated the whole pad. And then you had a one story basically sitting two stories up in the air. So it was an elevated grass pad, a tennis court, and the whole vista ahead that clears this rooftop. So what this is, is the most treacherous stairs you'll ever see. But in trying to show people what the view is, sometimes like you gotta just go up a little higher to see what is really feasible with a build. So if you're up for it, you can follow me as we try and climb to the mountaintop. Oh my God. Which brings us to the top of the world. Now look at this. There's our view. So when we look down, we see this massive, huge piece of dirt. So if I were the main owner of this house, I would want the master bedroom to go all the way down into the biggest view. So it's gonna be set up on the far side. Then you look at where the worst view in the house is, which is that side. Either the tennis court, if you're gonna keep it, or a massive parking garage. It's not just about how big houses are. Bigger is not always better, but it's like how it feels and how it's usable and how when you're in the house, you're able to live. So layout to me is one of the most important things to look for when buying or building a house. 
Guys, thank you so much for watching. It's been a great time for you today. So I'm gonna leave you with one tip. Here's my tip for negotiating. When you're negotiating against someone, say your piece and then stop. If there's silence, let there be silence. If it takes 30 seconds, no worries, because then the next person to speak is the one that loses. Good luck. If you wanna see more of these vlog takeovers, let me know in the comments right there. Tell me how cool I am. Tell me how much you enjoy watching these things and we'll send a lot more your way. Thanks.